Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The third rule of Fight Club, someone yells stop, goes in, taps out, the fight is over. Fourth rule, when two guys kill fight. Fourth rule, As I mentioned earlier, today's going to be attacking the turtle. Many ways to do it. We're going to cover probably three. We might have time to get to a fourth one today, no promises, but we'll at least get over three. The first one we're going to go through is going to look familiar to almost every single one of you guys. We do this for warm up, we do it during rolls. You hear me talk about it. So, luckily, um, I'm going to keep this first intro to like two minutes or under. Most of us know this. I want to insult him. I know there's a couple of players that have joined us that have been away from at least my style of teaching for a minute. So, we just did three quarters of this during our post warm up drill, right? I'm gonna get my grips. We can use whichever pass, but today we either use the Toriondo to come here and they turtle. Now, real fast, rotate with me. Keep rotating. Normally, if we go, go down turtle, please. Normally, if we go to take the back right away, just pay real, real quick attention to my knees. If I'm gonna control the turtle before I've decided what to do, I'm hip to hip so I can push in. I'm looking for my seat belts. I don't want this elbow flare, flaring over here because there's no real pressure to keep her hips from coming forward. So when I get my seatbelt, I'm kind of chicken wing down, staying heavy on her hip and I'm driving in. Only when I decide I want to take the back am I going to switch the tasks at which my feet are doing to here, to block the knee, block the ankle. I've got a strong connection and now I can do what? Pull them and roll them is the rhyme I always like to use, right? Pull them, set the hook. If I can't just kick this foot, I'm going to guide him to the other side. Now my hook's on the top. I can hit my hook and I already have my seatbelt. All right, so the very first one is something we've already done a whole bunch. We just want to make sure to focus on something real quick. When they go turtle, I want us to build in a one or a two second pause where I'm not going with my back leg up first. I'm keeping hip pressure. So last time, I pass, they turtle, control the position first, then switch the knees and look to take the back. Hip to hip, heavy elbow, I'm controlling. If we were to rotate, rotate please. Now go down. I'm here. When I get ready to take the back after I've connected my seatbelt and got a nice strong plating attachment, my two pecs to her shoulder blades, now I can switch from driving in on the hips, switch tasks, puller, roller, and take the back. Okay? So just make sure we build in that little pit stop between what we're going to call today controlling the turtle. Now I've decided I want to take their back. Now I can switch to my back leg up, block the knee, ankle to ankle, pull them and roll for the hooks. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, technique part number two. So, we talked about, I'll make a real quick distinction, go down the turtle, please. A lot of times before, some of us have been kind of learning the fundamentals here, as soon as we saw turtle, we did, we kind of skipped past part A, we went to part B. As soon as we saw turtle, we tried to do a whole bunch of stuff at once. We tried to connect our, our seat belt, and we also, until today, we've gone knee to knee, and my back leg is up like this. Problem is, even with the turtle, you can tell because this configuration, they can elevate their hips and start to roll. So today, one of the kind of sub points, I just want to make sure that we touch on and mention it quick, I'll mention it again. Instead of just, there's turtle and I'm gonna dive for this, I'm gonna be my leg up in the back and my knee down here. That's all right, but it doesn't check some of the things that they can do. So today, same thing that we just did, I'll just mention it again. I don't go straight to here for the turtle while I'm trying to connect my seatbelt with the leg up behind. I passed, they went turtle, I had knee to, opposite side knee to knee, and I'm driving my hip in, I'm connecting my seat belt, and I'm staying heavy, right? My body isn't necessarily up here, it's back here. I'm connecting my seat belt. When I was ready, I stayed on the same side, uh, same side. Pay real quick attention to my seat belt. It is here to here. That's a standard seat belt. Guess what a reverse seat belt is? Here, there's lots of reasons I don't want to stay here because they can just kind of dump me and go out my back. So what we're going to do, I go seat belt, I'm, I'm going to drive them. Maybe I tried to come here and pull them and they got a good base. I'm going to come back to my turtle ride. Now I'm going to hit my reverse seat belt. I'm just going to switch the tasks of my arms. Over is now under, under is now over. 
But if I stay here very long, they start scooting backwards. So the second I decide to switch my seatbelt, I'm gonna throw myself to the other side. And then I'm gonna go right in. I don't need to go to my turtle attack kind of ride. I'm gonna go right into my knee to knee. So I'm here. I can't pull them and roll them. I'm gonna come back and control the hip. Switch my seatbelt, and now I'm gonna throw my hips to the other side. My right knee is gonna come by her right knee. I'm gonna pull her and roll her. I'm gonna use that momentum of switching sides to get to the back. Okay, so we'll show it again from the same angle. I pass, they go turtle. First thing I'm gonna do is stabilize and prevent the roll. Here, now maybe I tried to set my pull and roll too good of a base. I'm gonna come back to control. I'm gonna switch my seatbelt, hop sides and take the back. Reverse seatbelt, hop sides, see how my knee is down? This foot's up, it sets me up right away to do what? Puller, roller, if I can't get this other leg out, right into the far side, set my top target. All right, last time at full speed. Big old turtle, I hit it, doesn't work, reverse seatbelt, and I use this momentum right here into my roll. Okay, so this is the reverse seatbelt far side method. Same back take, we're just gonna switch the seatbelt, use that momentum of my hips, pendulum them around their hips as extra momentum into the pull. Okay, five minutes, one, two, three. Okay. Lots of ways to attack turtle. Today, we're just kind of talking about ways to get to the back, right? This is in my mind, and hopefully this is coming through uh, for the lesson today, is these are just the same with a little bit different ways to take the back from turtle. I mean, inevitably, we're all looking for the back, right? I'm looking for the back from all positions, from the mount, from the side control, pretty much any position other than when I'm trapped in somebody's guard, then you've got one mission in life, break and pass the guard. But from almost every position in jiu-jitsu, there are ways to take the back. Turtle, they're already chest down with the back. The only thing that's preventing me from just putting my hooks in is the fact that their elbows are here and it's guarding the pathway for my heels to come in front of their thighs. So, often I've gotta do these little tricks, block the knee and pull it. If that doesn't work, reverse seat belt, use the momentum of me coming around to help pull them. Sure, there's also totally separate paths that don't fit in with part A or part B that we went over tonight. We'll go over one today, okay? If you guys have never baled hay, I grew up kind of on a, on a ranch and a farm, so we had to bale a lot of hay. We had horses and livestock and all this other type of stuff. The truck could pull up, it's got like tons of hay on it. Guess what, here's the big hay bale. It's got a line of strings here and a line of strings here. I gotta pick it up by the two strings, pull it up, and then go rack it. Okay, the reason I mentioned that, totally aside from jujitsu, is that's very similar to what we're gonna be doing today. So my partner's here in turtle. I can't crack the turtle, okay? I'm in here, I'm trying to pull and roll, I'm hitting my reverse seat belt. Coming around, I'm pulling, she's not budging. I can keep it over and over again. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the exact same thing over and over again, expecting a different return, okay? So if they've got a good base and none of my knee taps, knee block, my pull and roll is working, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my hand inside the collar. Boom, like this is the first string on a hay bale. My other hand, while I'm keeping weight and checking their roll, is gonna slip up and I'm gonna look for their belt. If there's no belt, if it's absent, I can grab the top of the pants, but generally, I'm gonna be looking to control the belt. Just like I said a second ago, where I'm pulling the hay bale, I'm putting it up, and now I'm racking it, okay? I come here, my stuff's not working, I'm gonna slip a hand inside the collar, four fingers deep. I'm gonna get my hand inside the belt, and now I need to be quick. My pressure is still down smashing. I'm, I've already got one foot up. I'm gonna hop up to two feet. Now, I don't actually wanna power clean her and lift her above my head, but there's this weird human reaction that happens. As Soon as I come to here, and I pull hard, the vast majority of people don't stay tucked into a little ball while you pull their knees up. It's a human reaction. As soon as you pull them up, they open up. So I'm gonna pull her up, looking for a gap between her elbow and her hip to develop. I'm gonna set one hook first. Don't try and jump into two hooks. One hook first, and then as is the usual routine, when we set a hook, we have to roll onto that hook, which leaves my top side hook easier to get. So all that talk's gonna look like this. I tried my seatbelt, my reverse seatbelt method. Reverse seatbelt method's not working. I'm gonna go to the hay bale, here, here. I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna to try to pull their entire body and just for a second when their legs come out, I'm gonna set my far side hook and roll onto it. I pop up, hook, seat belt, roll, other hook, okay? This is kind of like, if you gotta break attacks down in different classifications, I think of this as a surprise attack. If they know it's coming, odds are they're gonna go like this and they're gonna let you pull them up in the air and they're gonna stay tight. What I want is this reaction. Then I step my hook in and fall onto the hook. All right, so here we go. It could be our very first path. Maybe I don't want to try and pull them or roll them. I've done that hundreds of times over the last year. I want to play with my new trick. They go turtle. I'm riding in. I'm checking the hip when I'm ready. 
One, two, stand up to two feet, pull them, set the far side hook. Seat belt, roll. Okay, one last time, a little bit of a different angle. Can I have your head facing the windows, please? Turtle ride, I decide I wanna go right to my hay bale. One, two, pop up, pull, far side hook. Just remember, no moving jujitsu is 100%, but the more that we massage the technique, the higher our chances of getting it. Five minutes, one, two, three.